This is my 83 Mercedes 380 SL. It has European headlights. It has an AMG spoiler. Someone in the 80s put some money in this. They bought uh, wire wheels. I don't know. I doubt I'll re-chrome them. I'll probably powder coat them either black or maybe gunmetal or something. I have another set of wire wheels for this too. The top's in fairly new shape to the window. I clean this with window cleaner and try to see the difference in the window. Window polish didn't work that well. I was just testing it though. But the interior is pretty nice. It has one rip right there. The back part, I have to go through all the panels and back. It has a nardy steering wheel. They also put in an in dash radar detector and a, had a remote alarm from the 80s too. They put in money at windows when it was uh, in the 80s when it was newer. This should start right now. If I have the keys in it. Runs nice, but that 155 horsepower motor has to come out of this. I have the the motor that's going in. It is this uh, low mile 85 500 SL. It has like 81 or 89 thousand miles. I'd have to check again. Both the exhaust comes with this Y-pipe over the top of the bell housing to a 1.7 inch uh, single exhaust, which is crazy. This is getting a 87 560 SEC cams I already have on advance, both the cams 5 degrees. I have to swap out like the oil pan, the oil filter housing to fit in the SL body. I wanted to get a 560 SL engine so I could use the exhaust if it's better or uh, I also wanted the intake manifolds it's like two millimeters bigger on each port but then I could also use the, the oil pan and the oil filter housing in it. That's, that's going to be replacing the 155 horsepower 3.8 liter motor. They just strangled this with so much emissions crap and uh, really retarded the cams. It just, for what size motor it is, it's like really low horsepower. They didn't. They weren't prepared to reduce the emissions enough to pass uh, U.S. emissions on it. A day before I ran, I was going to run down and pull a European SL 500 engine out of a car. They pulled that out of the junkyard. I was kind of pissed about it. Then I found one locally next to me, but Sonar already took the 500 SL motor out of it. And transmission they took the entire drive to know that one. But this is next project. I'm gonna rebuild the transmission, have the shift kit, uh, clutch packs, and uh, German made overhaul gasket set. So that should be cost me around two hundred to rebuild the transmission. So it'll be happy with that so it can handle the horsepower. <laughs> Not that it's blazing quick on the horsepower but it'll go from 155 horse to hopefully around 225. That should help with acceleration. The body's pretty nice on this too. It has a 
rear spoiler too. 